it's a Friday in March. It's like the 20... Fifth. Fifth. That seems mildly accurate. Uh, we're going to see if you get to have a video of a grown man going insane. Uh, and there is a chance that may be a thing that happens. But hopefully not. But who knows? It's been an interesting day already. Uh, let's see. Your grades are updated with the mythology test and the blue sheet. Both of those things are on there. Uh, camp stuff is officially due next week as I'm finalizing your groups. And then let's see. Other than that, blah, blah. And oh, if you did not turn in blue sheet, it did cost you three B points for those two who did not. Uh, see, blue, blue, myth sheet was worth 20 points. You can see on there if you have a 20, you got all your points. If you've got less than 20, then there's things you missed, yeah. and you should see little purple circles on there that tell you where the things are you didn't do, which most likely is probably not a major surprise to you. If you don't know how to check your B points on Skyward, I am going to show you how to do that now because I keep having kids who ask me how to check their B points on Skyward. If you do know how to check B points on Skyward, then you're good. Those of you who may be slightly confusified, here is how you do it. Step one, go to Skyward. Step two, find this screen that has like the listing on the grade book of all of your classes. Who is this person? You don't click here, so you have to click here. So find the one that has your letter grade for my class, and you're going to click on that one. I blocked out the name, so you can't see who it is. Then, once you've done that, it comes to this screen. You're going to have to scroll down to find the one that says behavior points, and then go over and find the one that says something out of 15. That is your points. Don't look at the percentage, because the percentage is not going to be your B points. It is going to be like 36 out of 15 or something like that. So that will give you more of an idea. Questions as far as that part? All right. Questions over how many points he has lost for making that choice? Because the answer is three. But the good news is we may not be done yet. We'll see what happens. All right. So we're good to go as far as this part is. And yay. Then now you can put iPad down, and we'll come back to it here in a minute. my way of trying to help. Hi, Dylan. The insanity has begun. So to this, those of you who would like to get a second chance to go, I will give you that opportunity to do so if you want. Now, the second time, you have to do it in 25 seconds or less. If you can do it in 25 seconds or less, then in that case, you are going to get your five B points. Today, the fastest time so far is nine seconds. So we had a kid do it in nine seconds. And I believe as soon as she got done, she flexed and said, take that, Ryan. But I could be wrong. I don't know exactly. But it is open to anyone who would like to attempt it. My goal is to give you guys this opportunity through next week. And then after that, whoever had the smallest time gets a bonus 5B points for being all fasty and stuff like that. Home children, we're going to pause so you don't get a chance to watch this part because it will take some of the fun out of it. It's continued. All right, so as far as your guys' test goes from yesterday, uh, uh, that. <laughs> the average grade of all of them together, just for my two advanced classes, because regular kids take a different test, you guys were at 92% overall. So go you guys on that. If you remember back to the beginning of the year when we did like the poetry and the short story tests, I had to curve that one because we had so many kids not get an A or a B that we ended up having to curve it just to give you guys a higher grade. On this one, you guys legit did well on your own. Legit. Ryan, what's up? Oh, so if nobody beats Jaylee in the hard time, what happens then? Then you guys will get your name put up and then you guys get an additional five B points. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I have a question. I'll be writing it probably at the end of today. I'll be writing it over here somewhere. So, of this, how many questions of the 35 do you think you guys averaged under an 80%? 
So between my two classes, I went through and looked at the average of how many you guys got below an 80, because that means that overall, you guys did not know that question very well. And again, going back to beginning of the year, you guys really struggled. So on this one, you can hold up fingers, because I can tell you it is 10 or less. Uh, and this thing's making weird sounds from there. If your number is three, that's what it was. So the fact is overall, you guys had three questions that you did under, and it's not an easy test. I'll tell you now, if you take those questions and you go and ask your parents or any other kid here at school, the chances of them knowing almost any of those are none. Of you guys asking old you those questions are really low. They were not easy questions. And you guys did well on it. Along those same lines, I went through and checked to see how many of you guys had over 95%, meaning almost every single kid got correct. So my next question is, how many of them do you guys think of those 35, do you think every, I can't tell you that one. I'm not gonna take that fun out of it. Could be. If you think it's over 10, then you could do like a fist and then like that for 11, if you wanna go for like over 10. And you could do this if you think it's like 20. If not, then you would just have like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, that's 16. That doesn't exist. It's like a bird. Uh, All right, and then the answer is? What? 20. Seven? Of the 35 questions, 20 of them, you guys got a 95% or higher. So again, I did not think I made an easy test. I thought they were fairly challenging questions to get into, but you guys absolutely destroyed it. So well done you. Carter. Why aren't three names on that list of the B point people who crossed off? They're not crossed off. They're eighth graders who came back and highlighted their names because I just haven't gone over to erase it. Bowen. Asher's thirsty. Can I give him a drink? No. He's going to have to learn to survive because he doesn't even know where his seat is. All right. I can't tell if you have a question because you said you were raising your hand till Monday. No, I, Larry, I put it down and okay. then I'm putting it What's back. What's up, Sam? Um, was one of the three questions the one where you had to spell Kronos' name? I didn't count that one. That was one of the three questions. Because that was one that was below, but enough kids emailed me about the spelling that it raised it up above it. I uh, think so you regraded it? it yes. Okay, good. Yes. So... Why is it the spe one spelling you didn't take was the correct spelling that you gave us on the sheet? Yeah. Because I'm human. Mm -hmm. like. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Bowen? Is Sam starting again? Right, so this is what we're going to be taking a look at. The book that we are going to be beginning from next is called The Gospel According to Larry. So it doesn't really connect to religion, but it does in a way. But you'll see when we get to it next week. It is a true story about a kid who sort of started an early social media thing. What I want to do now is we're going to get a chance to do arguey talky things, which I'm guessing you guys are strong at. So open up iPad, and we're going to show you arguey talky thing that we're going to get into. And maybe the kids watching at home can watch a grown man slowly lose his marbles. That's a marble. And you. <laughs> Find today. Both of those links go to the same place. I just gave you two different links to choose to click on. And then it's going to take you to today's assignment. My goal is that this should not be homework. Get it done before you leave. But if not, then just get it turned in by tonight and then you should be good. I'm not going to grade him until tomorrow anyway. So as long as it's turned in by then, you're fine. But I prefer you get it done before you leave. There are five questions. You are simply going to, and we'll go through and talk about them. Tell me, do you agree or disagree with each statement? And then tell me why. Just give me your opinion that goes along with it. Because these are going to be our themes that connect to upcoming story. So it's going to be, first one, lying to your friends is okay as long as you mean well. This book is going to deal with a lot of lying and the idea of withholding things from your best friends that you don't think they need to know about your life. And is it okay to lie to people as long as your intentions are good? So that's going to be our first thing. Two, along those same ideas, a lot of our book is going to be about is breaking the law okay? As long as you have 
good intentions. Because the main character breaks some laws. But he breaks those laws with trying to make what he thinks makes the world a better place. So is it okay for someone to break the law if you're doing it in an attempt to what you think makes the world a better place? So your opinion on that one. Three, the ability to be anonymous on the internet is a wonderful thing. The idea that you can build a Snapchat or Instagram or anything online and not have your name, face, image, anything connected to you for you or anybody, is that good or bad, the fact that the world is anonymous? Because this book takes place when the whole internet thing was first starting up and we had the first couple people on there being anonymous and this whole thing is about a person who creates an anonymous like Instagram account and it goes super viral but no one knows who it is that's doing it and is that good to have something like that where you are changing the world but no one knows who you are? And then the last uh, four, clothes only matter if they have a brand name on them. The idea that you have to wear things that have the name of the company on there or the school because wearing generic clothing is bad and insulting. And it becomes a big part of the book about whether or not trying to fit in and wearing popular clothing is good or bad. And the last one, could you limit yourself to 75 items if you had to? Meaning in your possession, things that you say are yours. A pair of shoes is an item, a pair of pants is an item, and so like your phone would be an item. Being able to limit yourself, because that becomes a big part of the book, is the idea that humans and Americans are very much focused on collecting crap. And the idea of could you get rid of a lot of that and cut down to what is just important in your life. And so that is the other thought as far as that goes. So those are the five things. I'm going to give you guys a chance to write before I distract you too much, but I'll answer Carter's question. Never mind, that was a good question. I'm glad you brought that up. You're going to have about two minutes, and then I'm going to start talking again. Um, so you're welcome to keep typing. I just can't be quiet for super long. I have issues. Oh, home children, I'm going to pause it because this will get really awkward if you're just staring at the screen. So you can do your typey thing and then I'll start it up again. You're fine. Hello, home children. You definitely did not miss anything. You are perfectly fine. Um, that's the wrong thing. And that's the wrong thing. There's the right thing. How embarrassing. See, kids at home, you missed nothing. So let's go through and you guys are more than welcome to still be typing uh, as we go through. I just want to see by a show of hands you are agree or disagree with each one, and then let's go through and get opinions. So first one, lying to your friends is okay as long as you mean well. Raise hand if you agree with that one. And then down, raise your hand if you disagree with that one. Interesting, not quite about a third to two thirds. Two, it is okay to break the law as long as you have good intentions. Agree, and then down, disagree. That one's a little stronger there, about two-thirds of that. Oh, Three, the ability to be anonymous on the internet is a wonderful thing. Agree? What do you mean by wonderful? Like it's a good thing. What does oh, wonderful mean? Wonderful. 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 It's literally written in front of you. It's oh. a good thing. <laughs> you know, it's you know. a good thing, Anna. And then let's go with uh, disagree. And then let's, because then you can't have consequences. Let's go with we don't know what the word wonderful means. Okay, just checking again. It's hidden behind your B points. Four. <laughs> Clothes only matter if they have a brand name on them. Agree? Disagree? Oh, no, not only matter. I mean, they don't matter. <laughs> Those are two different things. And then five. You could easily limit yourself to a total of seventy-five things. Agree? Okay, I don't think there's loopholes. No, loopholes. I couldn't. You mean to disagree? Eat. Interesting. All right. Well, going back to it. The first one. Lying to your friends is okay as long as you mean well. Can you, since that was the agreeing was the one that had most of you with it, can you justify why you think lying is okay? Asher? So I was going to say something else, not about the news before. So I noticed that the people with the most B points 
tended to disagree with most of us. Really? Interesting. I didn't think anything to notice. I, I wonder. Ryan! Um, I think it's okay in order to protect your friends, but if you're doing it to protect yourself, mm. it's a different situation. Can you give examples of what you're thinking? Um, well, if your friend asks you, I guess, about somebody talking bad about them, you don't want to necessarily tell them if you know what they were saying about the friend in yeah. order to protect them. Like, you could tell them, yeah, they were talking bad about you, but if it's something that is really going to hurt them, you don't want to necessarily tell them what it is. Why not? All right. Nikki? You'd rather hear it from a friend than hear someone else talking about it. I can understand that. Sam? Yep. So, you have a wife, right? Yes. I do. <laughs> yes. No. All right. Your wife gets a new dress, asks you, does this dress make me look bad? <laughs> you say yes. No matter no. what the a real answer is, you say yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I it's wish you luck later in life. You let me know <laughs> how that path goes. Holt! Um, oh. So, speaking from like random experience, like if you lie to one of your friends about something, then they always find out as like, okay, okay. and kiss it. Okay. And so like, if they find out, like, whenever they find out, they usually get really mad at you. So, um... Better to be okay. honest at the start? Yeah. Okay. Kira. Uh, so... Wow. Sorry. <laughs> Um, wow. basically, like, just, like, using that example, um, even though if, like, you, when you say it, it seems like you're just trying to protect your friend, um, they're, it will, when they find out, it will break the trust that I'll have, and it's, like, mostly to protect yourself. Well, in my opinion, but, yeah. So you're saying Ryan is selfish? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but, but... I feel like if you're going to lie about someone and someone's going to their face, they're going to find out by some stranger or like rumor that go around. Alright. Of course. Carter? I quit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that dress makes you look fat, so it's okay. <laughs> so let's go. That's not very nice. <laughs> Not very nice for you to wear that dress. I'm sorry. I didn't want, was that what you wanted me to say? I was confused on how I'm supposed to respond. Number, well, jump to number three, just time-wise. I'm curious to see your thoughts. The ability to be anonymous on the internet is a wonderful thing. Dylan? As long as you're doing something that isn't bad, I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. So, but the idea is we can either be anonymous or not anonymous. So do you think we should take away anonymous or... Can you actually be anonymous? I mean, there's a way to track the atmosphere. Yes, so and... ever actually anonymous? Well, according to the hackers that are attacking things online, you can be. Because a lot of times you can not connect it to a certain computer. And there, it is tougher for kids, but probably for people who are well-versed in it, you can still find a being anonymous. So, I mean, I think if you're not doing a bad thing, And that's part of where the scary things come in is that we have to choose either letting anybody be anonymous or let nobody be anonymous. And that's where it gets tougher. Mia? That's why I was conflicted on this question because I was like, it's a good thing for like younger kids who are on the internet so mm -hmm. they don't have to be exposed and like, yeah. But it's also a bad thing for um, people who are pretending to be someone that they're not and who could potentially harm people. So I think that it might be better that, or I think it's worse if people are anonymous because they could be like hiding their true intentions. So make everybody who goes online have to identify who they are? Well, Eddie, you didn't like that idea at all. I don't know. <laughs> and the problem is that's what makes this tough. 
especially as we get into the book, that becomes a central part of it, of respecting people's privacy who want to be private online. Silly? So we need to do reading comprehension this morning with the people, and one of the things was uh, there was factions who would be against the government, mm -hmm. and they said the way to stop that was to take away liberty. Mm -hmm. And they said, but that's necessary for the government. So it's the same kind of thing. If you take it away, then there's those people who kind of need it. So. Because there's people in Russia right now who are trying to rebel against Russia who are posting because the Russian government is not letting the press put out information about the invasion. So there's a lot of people who are anonymously trying to post things in Russia to inform. But if they, as soon as Russia government finds out who they are, they get punished. So I can see that. Next Monday, well, make sure you submit. If you have not, don't be the kid that doesn't. Other than that, Monday, we get to start reading about kids and choices. I'm